What's up, Rich Squad? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Dominic Rich. And if you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button and click the little bell to become part of the notification squad. As you can tell from the title, guys, I want to discuss the Champions League qualifying playoff fixture between AK Athens of Greece and VDFC of Hungary. AK Athens, they are the champion of Greece and VDFC, of course, the champion of of Hungary and both teams really really want this Champions League group stage you know place because AK Athens haven't been there in over 10 seasons I think the last time they were there was in the 06-07 season if I'm not mistaken and for VDFC they have never qualified for the Champions League in the Champions League era so it will be a monumental moment if they do qualify, but in the first leg, VDFC lost two goals to one, you know, versus AK Athens in a very, very feisty affair where there were two red cards. So the second leg is shaping up to be a really, really good contest. But AK Athens, they have the home court advantage. And I think they should go on to qualify for the Champions League, even though I did make the prediction that VDFC will qualify. It was actually a left field prediction. I rooted for the underdog. I really like underdog stories because it will really be great to see a team from Hungary qualify for the Champions League. We haven't seen a team from Hungary in the Champions League in a very long time or I really don't know if a team from Hungary ever qualified for the Champions League in the Champions League era. So if you know of any team from Hungary who have qualified for the Champions League in the Champions League era, let me know in the comment section down below. But AK Athens, man, the fans are behind them. I actually think they will pip VDFC to the spot. VDFC is basically a team, you know... Coming out of obscurity, I know I never heard of VDFC before this playoffs, for real. But they are a team who brushed aside Malmo, a team who are regular in the Champions League. And they brushed aside Ludogorets, a team who is also a regular. You know, um, AK Athens, they defeated Celtic, who are a regular in the Champions League. So both teams, you know, they're good. They're really, really good. And they want to make it to the um, to the group stage, but only one team goes through. And right now, it's kind of hard to tell. Believe believe it or not, it's hard to tell. But AK Athens has the edge. But both teams haven't been in you know prime form as of late. You know, having a mixed bag of results. I was expect when doing the research, I was actually expecting to see like a ten game unbeaten streak like that of. Um, Dinamo Zagreb or a seven game unbeaten streak like that of young boys but these teams you know have a, a mixed bag of results lo losses draws wins so you could never tell where this game is gonna go but it will be a whole match for AK Athens the fans are gonna come out in their numbers and they're gonna get behind their team as a 12th man and I think AK Athens you know should win this match I think they should win it but it's only left for VDFC to surprise us, you know. It's theirs, you know, it's their match to go out there and surprise us as the underdog team. We love underdog stories, don't we? Don't we? But guys, um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know who you think will take this Champions League spot. We know 26 teams have already qualified, but only six spots left. Who will take them? Who will take him? Maybe PSV probably got a foot in the door. Ajax probably got a foot in the door. PAOK and the Benfica game is heating up. That one I want to actually talk about as well. And then we have the Dynamo Zagreb versus Young Boys. Then we have the Savannah Zvezda versus the Red Star Belgrade. Guys, the playoffs has been really, really exciting this year. I never really covered the playoffs in previous seasons, but I say, you know what? Let me talk a little bit about the playoffs. You know, they deserve the attention um, and let me do it because I'm, I know a lot of other YouTubers are not even talking about the playoffs right now, but it's worth it. It's worth it. And I learned a lot actually covering these playoff matches. You know, I really did not know a lot about AK Athens, PAOK, VDFC. Dynamo Zagreb, Savannah Zvezda, but now 
and filled with a lot of knowledge. But guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm babbling on a little. But who do you think will take that group stage spot for the 2018-19 UEFA Champions League? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button, and until next time, peace out. Rich Squad, the champions, the champions.